Hi everyone, it is May 1st, 2020, and I'm here up at the top of Horsetooth Rock for sunrise. I was actually just filming a congratulations video for our upcoming commencement for our veterinary undergraduate and graduate students. But I thought it was a, a wonderful moment to also check in with the college, um, with it being spring, May 1st, sunrise. All of these things remind me of kind of a, a new beginning and a rebirth. And I think this is probably very appropriate when I think about how we're coming out the other side of the COVID crisis and how the conversations on a national and university and college level have changed just in the last week to really think about how we reopen and how we do that in a safe manner and how we do that in a strategic manner. But I'm very excited by uh, the direction that we're going. I can tell you that the university and the college have put together a variety of working groups and those working groups are putting through uh, our planning for different scenarios. So how do we reopen the summer? What happens if um, we still have some delays from a public health and safety concern? And what does that look like if we're opening in the fall? And worst case scenario, what happens if we have to delay again and do our online courses um, and move that off to 2021? But all of these conversations are making sure that we have the right people and the right discussions and the right scenario planning to think about what is the space allocations from a research perspective? How many people can we fit in a lab? Are there some new ways to think about how we can open these labs in a way that might be in shifts and that would allow us to think about um, uh, opening again, but in a different way and in a safe way. And the same thing with our students and bringing people back on campus. So um, I just wanted to basically check in with you um, tell you that I think that these conversations are very productive. I know many of your um, leaders are involved at a university and college level, and I'm excited to see where they go. So in closing, I just want to thank you again for all your continued support and patience during this difficult time. Um, I know I speak on behalf of all the college leadership when I say that uh, as difficult as it has been, that we really, really appreciate your advocacy, your support, your patience, as we've come through this crisis and now think of how we reopen. Thanks very much and have a great May.